Our annual lecture is a very special night for us each year, a night on which we honour the spirit, tenacity and enormous contribution that Una made in founding the Glencree Centre and working tirelessly over many years to create and hold a safe space for people to come and talk to one another and to work through difficult issues, building long-lasting relationships across divides. Una's spirit continues to serve as inspiration to us all in Glencree. We are very mindful of her important legacy and of our responsibility to keep working for peace on this island and beyond, offering a safe space to those who wish to engage with the other and work towards peaceful resolutions to conflict. We are particularly, we are particularly delighted to welcome members of Una's family here tonight to join with us in honouring her memory. Welcome Art and Isolde. After two very difficult years of COVID, it is our great pleasure to be able to host an in-person event once more. It's been a difficult time for us all, and I would like to take this opportunity to pay tribute to the Glencree team, who throughout these past two years have adapted our programs and events to ensure that the work endured and that those we work with continue to be supported in their journey towards reconciliation. The resilience, commitment, and public service ethic of our staff is a source of great pride for me in Glencree, and it is my greatest professional honor to work with you all. I also want to thank our funders, whose continued confidence in us allowed us to navigate the difficult waters of the pandemic with minimal disruption to our work and the services we provide. I particularly wish to thank the Swiss Embassy and the Department of Foreign Affairs, who have not only supported this event tonight, but have continued to believe in us and our work and work with us uh, throughout the last number of years, investing in Glencree's ongoing development. It is also my pleasure to note that Glencree has recently been selected as a strategic partner of the Department of Foreign Affairs Reconciliation Fund, and we are deeply grateful for the, increasing, sorry, for the department's steadfast support, which has made all the difference to our increasing stability and growth in recent years. Despite the challenges of the pandemic, it also created an opportunity for quiet reflection for many of us, which is something we don't always have the time for in Glencree while struggling an intense schedule of travel, programme events and in-person dialogues. During this quieter period, Glencree undertook a comprehensive strategic review process and with the support of the Swiss Embassy here in Ireland, we have developed a new five-year strategic plan which seeks to strengthen our organisation and protect the work of Glencree into the future. The renewed focus provided by this strategy and our new plans for Glencree's development are something we are excited to share with you tonight as we formally launch our strategic plan 2022 to 2026. I would now like to welcome our Chair of the Board, Barbara Walsh, who will tell you more about the future that we imagine for Glencree.